Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to extract the top X number of values in descending order from a list and also include all of those if there happens to be items that have the same value. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So here is our scenario. In column A, I have a list of just 25 very random items, and in column B, the inventory for those items. In cell D1, I just have a cell where I can enter any number that I want, 1, 2, 10, 15, whatever, to, to give me those top X number of values based on whatever I put in cell D1. In cell F1, I just created a header that takes top and space ampersand, whatever's in cell D1, ampersand, and space items. So this way, whatever I change in cell D1, if I change this to 5, the header says top 5 items. In column G, I just use a simple X lookup formula to look up what's in the cell in F, look it up in column A, and return what's in column B. So for example, if I have milk here in cell F2, it's going to return 5744 because that's the value that I have there. So how do I pull in the top X number of items based on their inventory in column F? Well, first I'm going to use the sort by function. So equals sort by. My array is what's in column A, comma, and what I'm going to sort by is what's in column B, again, comma, and I'm going to do it in descending order, which is a minus 1. Close my parentheses, and now I get the list of all the items here, and as you can see in column G, they're all in descending order. Now, how do I limit this by whatever I have in cell D1? I'm going to add the index function, then my sort by function will be my array, and my row number, I'm going to use the sequence function. And the sequence function returns a sequence of numbers. So if I hit tab, and I select what's in cell D1, close my parentheses, notice if I highlight that sequence function and hit F9, it gives me 1 through 5. If that was an 8, it would give me 1 through 8. So now that will give me those row numbers only that I have based on what's in cell D1. Close my index function, hit enter, and now I only get the top five items here. If I change this, say, to 10, it'll give me the top 10. And let's say I have several that have the same value. I'm just going to change all of this group here to 9342. And notice it includes them all, even though they're all the exact same value. And this is how you can do that in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling!